Asian markets remained subdued after China's GDP growth for the April to June quarter came in at 6.3%, lower than what economists had expected. Analysts believe export demand remained soft and sinking property prices dented consumer confidence. 总的来看，经济运行逐步摆脱疫情的影响，向常态化的增长轨道在回归。那么上半年呢，国内生产总值同比增长百分之五点五，二季度增长百分之六点三。那么五点五的增速呢，明显快于上年全年六点三的，全去年全年百分之三的经济增速，也快于疫情三年百分之四点五的年均增速，经济增长回升的态势还是比较明显。The world's second largest economy is expected to slow further, given weak domestic demand and falling exports, as post-pandemic recoveries of other economies lose momentum. Economists believe India's economy will grow at a much faster pace than China's in the long run, after 6.1% growth in the January to March quarter. Policymakers remain upbeat about India's prospects. Well, India is expected to do well over the medium to long run for a couple of reasons. One, I think it is trying to upgrade its infrastructure. Government has been focused on creating new infrastructure, particularly in railways, roadways, logistics, etc., and that creates、uh, potential for the economy to grow at a faster pace. It also improves efficiency in the system. While China's population will shrink and age, experts believe India's relatively youthful population will help growth. Economists also feel India's lower income per capita means there is more potential for catch-up. Add to it China's growing international isolation that will open up opportunities for India, and economists have a clear favorite in this race. Sakshi Bajaj for NDTV.